wool processing. Wool, where does it come from? Yes, you know, sheep. But do you know there are many types of wool used for different purposes? At Ross Farm, we have two breeds of sheep with completely different fleeces. Come, let me show you. Our interpreters will explain to the hands-on group the importance of wool to the early settlers and its many uses, starting from the raw fiber, just off the sheep to a finished product. There are many steps in wool processing and it is no easy task. First, the wool must be washed of some of its lanolin and dirt. This task can be time-consuming and is meant for warm summer days, so the wool that the children work has already been pre-washed. There is still, however, more dirt in it that needs to be removed. This is where the students have the opportunity to pick the wool apart to remove the rest of the dirt. While doing this, the remaining lanolin in the wool softens their hands as they experience the texture of wool before being processed. Next, carding the wool is needed. By using hand cards, the fibers can be straightened. This process is more difficult than you may think, but it is needed before spinning can take place. By straightening the fibers, the wool can be made into rolls. This allows the wool to be fed into the spinning wheel. Students can complete this task by using the skill direction from the interpreter. Spinning is the final step in wool processing. Each participant can try their hand at spinning, completing the process of wool into yarn. 